we can uh, vote for the chairman and the vice chairman, and <coughs> I'd like to have the board confirm that we want to keep Mrs. Kravitz for the yeah. secretary. Uh, I'd like to nominate Brian for chair. A nomination for Brian for, yeah. for chair? And I'd like to nominate Steve LeBranch for chair. Okay. I'll nominate Tim Jones for chair. Uh, I second it. Do you have to second him? Do, yeah, we're supposed to be. We need seconds. Yeah, I'll second for uh, Steve LeBranch for chair. So we have Brian in the second. And we have Steve in a second. Who is the second for Brian? I am. I no, 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 I can't second him. No. No. <laughs> He's been, you second. made the motion. <coughs> but we've been second. the board. Everybody's been second. Right. <coughs> so now you're all in. Well, well she needs she needs okay. to write do it down. Do you have a second? Tim Jones, I seconded. Okay. You, Dave, you I mean, Dave Marwa seconded. I'm in. You motioned. I made the motion. Hmm? Sonny Kravitz. Why don't I repeat what I have and make sure I've got it right? Okay. Mr. Kravitz uh, nominated Mr. Lambert for uh, chair. And Mr. Jones seconded that. Yeah. <coughs> Who was the nominee for Mr. LaBranch? I'm sorry. I was. Mr. Ladd. Mr. Ladd nominated Mr. LaBranch. And Ms. Barnes seconded that. And who nominated Tim? Steve did. Steve. And who was the second then? No. Sorry. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Mr. Vice Chairman, if I may inquire, the, uh, the law on electing the chairman is clear. We must elect the chairman. Uh, it says that um, we can elect any other offices we see fit beyond that. But uh, I think it implies that the chairman must secure a majority of the budget committee. Since the budget committee is voting, I assume that implies a majority. Mm. We have three candidates, so that may be a challenge. Uh, so we may have multiple go-rounds on this. May I so. ask what the majority means? <coughs> the stupidity of me asking the question that if you have three people running and you have two, two, and three, would the three be the majority? Or are you saying it has to be the majority of all the people there that number? Well, that's what I, that's how I would interpret it. it Pardon me? You can narrow it down to the two. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing it up. I believe that we need a majority of uh, the budget committee that is voting. Okay. Um, and so it, given that we have three candidates, that would suggest that it's likely that we may need to have a, 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 a second vote with perhaps the top two um, yeah. and, and subsequent right. rounds, or even a, 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 a separate candidate being offered at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just we'll, so that we're clear on what I think might we want to do. Yeah. yeah. Proceed with a vote for, for uh, Mr. Lapham as chair. Well, I think maybe we want to hear from the candidates. <coughs> Well, we normally when we no, had no, no, but nobody has said they would not accept it. No, no, no. There's been three nominations. Well, well, what I'm saying is, in the past, yeah. it's been a few years since we've had competition. Right. Uh, the candidates have offered a little uh, peek into Each, how yeah. into how they're going to lead the committee. I guess. Oh, we can, so if, if the board would wants probably it. be appropriate. Thing we can do that. We might as well start with Brian. And All I have to say is I've been doing this for. Nine years now. Um, I've been through the ups and downs of the budget committee. Um, I started when it was down. I think we can bring it back up again. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. And then, Steve? <clears throat> I was asked to uh, perhaps be chair, and I've had, what, four, this will be my fifth year. Um, on this board, so I think I have enough experience to do it. I've been the treasurer of the village district for a long time, and I like budgets. I think that 
I'll agree with Brian um, that we need to bring, we need to press a reset button with this board and we need to start, um, stop arguing with other boards. We need to do the job that we're supposed to be doing and not be trying to do somebody else's job. So that's just my opinion. <coughs> Hopefully if I am nominated, if I'm elected chair, I would like to enforce at least one rule, and that is in order to keep order, that all conversation goes through the chair. So when the chair, if you have something you want to say, just raise your hand when you recognize that you can speak. Um, other than that, let democracy, let's let it do its thing, and let's see what happens tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. And Tim? Uh, I've been on this committee for, this is my fifth cycle. I've served the last two years as the IT subcommittee chairman. I think we did a good job in that space. Uh, I think uh, you've noted that uh, when this committee is unfairly attacked, I will step into the void and defend it. But at the same time, I have always advocated that we, we try to work out issues with other entities. The Selectman's Protocol and how to deal with requests for information is a perfect example. I've said over and over again that um, we need to maintain the protocol that's in the law. We, take the, we should take the Selectman's Protocol as advisory, as a way of preventing interfering with the operations of the town, which is something we have to be sensitive not to interfere with their operations when we're doing our inquiries. But we are, in fact, a separate entity, separately elected, all right, and we need to do the job as the entire board committee sees fit. <clears throat> the implications of Mr. LeBranch's little speech there clearly indicates that he thinks that we are all by ourselves arguing with other boards, and that we have not been unfairly attacked, and for the most part been silent because those attacks were occurring in our busiest season during the budget season, where we have in fact largely been silent and didn't come out to defend ourselves until our work was done, which I think this committee stands in good stead with the public because of the way we handled what I would classify as unfair assaults on the voters' sovereignty that elects this board to advise them on finance matters. So I think Mr. LeBranch is correct. <coughs> we do need to do a reset if I'm elected chair. I will, in fact, reach out with an olive branch in my hand to town management, the head of the town management, the head of the board of selectmen, and see if we can't find common ground to work for the voter being properly advised without all the noise that we have experienced that is mostly unnecessary. And we'll get that cleaned out of the way immediately. We come back to this committee with that proposal, if we can develop one, or otherwise I'll report that we couldn't, then we'll have to work it out as a committee on our own. But we must stand firm that we represent the needs for the voter to be advised on finance matters, and we are not going to be sitting back saying, okay, we're at fault, we're arguing, and no one else is been quite the opposite in my opinion. So that's the distinction between my candidacy and Mr. Little Branches. Thank you. Uh, good. Uh, call for a vote? Yep, I'll call for the vote. Um, everyone in favor of Brian Lapham, say yes. One, two. Hold on one second, please. <coughs> I guess we'll call for Stephen LeBranch. All those in favor of Stephen? One, two, three, four. There's a four. Who's the four? Somebody? Regina. Four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. <coughs> we got Regina, Ginny, Steve, and Bob. Yeah. Get them. Tim Jones.
Hold on. So it's nice. So it's a tie. Yeah. Oh, now we got to vote again. So do we have three? Is that four. right? Four. 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 Oh, you. Yeah, you. Four. Yeah. Okay. So no majority. No. No. <coughs> so we can vote again. Yeah. <coughs> now the vote is on top two. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll uh, take the vote for Still a Branch a second time. For who? Stephen LeBranch. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Now I I need to get. Mr. Ladd. He's holding by. Mr. LeBranch. Sonny. Regina. I have uh, Ms. Barnes, Mr. LeBranch, Ms. Bridal, Mr. Kravitz, Mr. Ladd. Yeah. And then we'll take a vote for uh, Mr. Jones. This comes over again. One, two, three, four. Fluff, uh, Mora, Henderson, and you, you voted again, Tim? Yeah. Okay. Uh, vice Chair. So, Mr. No, no. How many members do we have here? <coughs> we have 10. 11. Ten. Uh, 10 here. Yes. 10 here. Five. Nine voted. I believe Mr. LeBranch, yeah. I mean, Mr. Lapham abstained. Yes. Did, did you abstain? Yes. You're abstaining on, so we, on, uh, on all, of, well. yeah. all of this. All of the results. All of the second time around, you abstained. So that That's still not a majority. No. It's a majority of those voting. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's it's five to four. Nine voted. Now you would include the extension. Pardon? Abstention. Abstention. I'm yeah. sorry. No. Is those present in voting or those voting? Well. Well, it's five four one because you yeah. extend. Yeah, that's extended, right. right. Five four one. So we have no majority, in my view. Do you know the rule one on that? Well, I mean, majority would be five out of four. That's why you always have an odd number. We have ten board. members. Yeah, <coughs> five is half. Right, not a majority. You have one member absent. That's right, Danielle. Well, it's, it's fact she's absent. Oh, perhaps we can just hold this vote at our next table. meeting, Mr. Mr. Vice Chairman. Table till next time. We could. I mean, Stephen should be the chair at this point. Well, we don't have a full committee. Oh, you've, it's the committee that's here. I realize that. Quorum. That's all that's needed. What? We have a quorum. Right. We have a quorum. <coughs> right. We only have three selectmen, and if two vote to do something and one doesn't, it still passes. Hmm. So I'll ask, well, how was it done in the past? You know, I the mean, you've been on the board, you've been on the board. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't, so it's I don't not the majority as far as beyond right. that. It's the majority of who's here. Right. It's the majority. The majority. There's a quorum, it's the majority of the people here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the majority so it's five of those to four. I think, the, I think the five carries it. Well, why don't you move your chair? Yeah, move your chair. <laughs> yes? Yes. Jenny, did the uh, school board meet to appoint uh, a, a representative to meeting this tomorrow night. year? All appointments would be held over until the school board met. Right, but that was last year's. All appointments would be held over until the school board meets. When did they make that decision? That's what it's always been, Steve. Uh -huh. It's always been that one, okay. Yes. We're going to go by. It's always been the majority. Virginia, you subscribed. I mean, we're going to go by. It's always yeah. been that way, okay. and, it's, and it's always well, been, well, as it will be for for a long time to come. Absolutely, Tim. That uh, the as the total number of elected members of this body decline, that the representation by the governing body appointees will increase, which is the majority of the votes received by this candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will always be that way. 
Not necessarily. That the chairman of the budget committee has been decided by the governing body appointees. Tim. Thank you. And it will likely always be that way. Okay. Thank you very much. From now on. It wasn't that way in the past. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to ask at this point for nominations for a vice chair, please. Mr. Henderson? I nominate Mike Puff. A second. Okay. Sonny? Brian. Any second for? I'll second Brian. Okay. So. Sorry, can, I, can we, can oh, I have the nominee in the second? Oh, so I'm I, going too fast. Yeah. Nominee I've got to learn. The, uh, Motion was uh, Henderson's. The second was Ladd. And the vote was unanimous. <coughs> unanimous. Wait. We have, no, no, no. I don't know. It's just we have, him talking. <laughs> it's my crystal ball talking. We haven't voted yet. Barbara, could you just mention again? Who the nominees are and who the seconds. Well, right now I have Mr. Henderson nominating uh, Mr. Pluff, Mr. Ladd second. Is that right? No, Ms. Bond seconded. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I second, sorry. I seconded Brian. Yeah. Okay. So and who so nominated Brian? Oh, I didn't Sonny did. I didn't hear. Yeah. Sorry. And Bob Ladd second. Second. Right. Okay. Any other nominations? I nominate Tim Jones. No, I don't want it. Thank you very much, so I appreciate it. All right. All right. Ready the nominations be closed? Okay, the nominations are closed. <coughs> so, are we ready to vote? Competition requires speeches, right? All right. Would you like to say something, Mr. Pluff? Well, this has been quite a year so far. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Right out. And it started last summer mm -hmm. <laughs> with Nick Bridal resigning. So the vice chairman has been busy off and on this last year and this year. Um, it's important to have somebody that can step in and to help the chairman with the meetings. There's a lot going on here. The, the size of the committee over the years has gone from 15 down to Tonight we have 10, we should have 11 as a full committee. It's much easier to handle a smaller group than it is. The larger it gets, the more out of control it can get. And I think that uh, the public has supported downsizing and the public has supported keeping the budget committee. I think perhaps both of those are good things and I think that if you have the right people, you can make it work. And I spent a number of years here. I don't particularly like sitting up front. I'd rather sit over there, but I'll sit here as long as I can contribute and help, and that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Brian, would you like to say something? As I said at the Slotman's meeting last night, I will ditto that. Ditto? <laughs> Good, good. That was a mandatory we had to ditto there. <laughs> uh, I agree with everything you said, and you've been great as the vice chairman. Um, for that, I have no complaints. I have spent a lot of time on this budget, in past budgets, and et cetera, et cetera. And I'd appreciate you all. Okay? All right. Thank you, Brian. Are we ready to vote? So, first we'll vote. Those that want to vote for Mr. Pluff, raise your hand, please. I'm going to abstain. Because that, you can if you want. <laughs> because that's usually what you're supposed to do. Okay, so we have um, Steve Henderson, myself, Regina, and Jenny. Okay, so that's what? Four. Okay, and now for Brian. Okay, so we have um, David, David <laughs> and Sonny and Brian. That's three. Oh, there's four. Black. There's One, four. two, three, four. Right. Okay, so that's four. four. Yeah. Okay, and so it's four, four. Jim. Yes. 
Are you abstaining? No, I'm not voting. <laughs> so let the, let the record show that um, we have uh, one not voting. So we have a tie. You can break the tie. I could. <laughs> yes, you could. You could. You could as well. And there's no policy. If it's your personal policy not to vote for yourself. Well, he could. He could break the tie if we revote. Uh, I point out that the law does not require us to have a vice chair. And it can certainly be decided at the next meeting as well. There's all kinds of options here. Or you can withdraw, so. Or we can do another vote, and it may change. It's one of the options, yeah. It's one of the options. So, I'm going to call for another vote, okay? So, those that would like to see Mr. Plouffe as vice chair, please raise your hands. We're going to end up, I can see, with the same result. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I move to make it unanimous. There we go. <laughs> okay. So now we Let's have... Let's hold on. You can't. This is for Mr. Pluff, right? For Mr. Pluff. Okay. Mr. Jones, Mr. Henderson, Mr. Mr. LaGrange. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Mr. Mr. Barnes. Mr. Barnes. Jimmy. Yep. Mr. Bridal Russell. <coughs> did you get Mr. Pluff? Voting also. I, I, yeah, I got my hand up. I okay. couldn't get it up off the table, but I got it up. <laughs> I wasn't going to vote for you, Mike, until you voted for yourself. <laughs> then I am counting uh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Henderson, Mr. LaBranch, Ms. Barnes, Ms. Bridal, Russell, and Mr. Pluff. That and add Mr. Lapham. <laughs> oh, being yeah. seven I'm votes. Thank you, unanimous. I'm Sonny, and okay, it's unanimous. Thank you very much.